Hello and welcome to Stations of the Cross. This is something I had hoped to be doing during the two weeks leading up to Easter at uh, both St Chad and St Mary, but in the circumstances here we are doing it online. Each day there will be an illustration on which to reflect, there will be a short prayer and reading, and that will be followed by a meditation and then finally a closing prayer. The illustrations are by Nicholas Markell and the meditations written by Paula Gordo. So let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race, sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take him upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility, and also be made partakers of his resurrection, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And a reading from the Gospel of Mark. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when Judas came, he went up to Jesus at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. And a meditation by Paul Aguda. The title Betrayer is damning. It implies someone who callously deceives another, bringing about their downfall. It is a word that, for nearly 2,000 years, has been associated with Judas. Despite Christian history's near universal con- condemnation of Judas, the Gospels are more varied in their treatment. John's Gospel is the most damning. There, Judas is attributed with double motivation that he stole from the common purse, and that the devil had put it into his heart. Luke is mildly more forgiving. He did not attribute any motivation to Judas, but did record that Judas had bought a field with the reward of his wickedness, and fell over in it and died. Matthew and Mark, however, are different. Matthew records Judas's remorse and attempt to return the money given to him before going out to hang himself, whereas Mark appears neutral. It is indeed the case that English translations call him the betrayer, but the Greek word used in Mark, and indeed in all the Gospels, means simply hand over. While it is clear John used the word to mean betray, in Mark this is less clear. The word, paradidomi, is used many times in Mark to refer to brother handing over brother to death, to the chief priests, and especially when they handed Jesus over to Pilate and to Pilate when he handed him over to death. In Mark, Judas might have handed Jesus over, but many other people handed him over too. Whereas in John's Gospel, Judas bears the guilt almost single-handedly, in Mark it is spread among a number of people. Judas may have betrayed Jesus, but he wasn't doing so alone. And a prayer. Lord Jesus, you were betrayed by the kiss of a friend. Be with those who are betrayed and slandered and falsely accused. You knew the experience of having your love thrown back in your face for mere silver. Be with families which are torn apart by mistrust or temptation. To you, Jesus, who offered your face to the betrayer, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us.